Hi, good afternoon friends. Uh, today we are going to solve question number six in the series of videos and we'll be looking at how to solve such questions uh, in the exam. So let's start. Friends, looking at the task, it is very clear that uh, developing a safe system of work is the topic out of which this question came and if you remember, uh, while developing uh, safe systems of work, we need to be considering few factors. Uh, to be looked at before uh, developing a safe system of work for anything. So in this question, because you have recently joined as HSE representative and this is your duty to look for all the arrangements in place. So you, you thought of reviewing first aid arrangements after the accident and you will be looking at uh, uh, what are the loopholes uh, in the previously arranged first aids uh, and what needed to be added to those uh, arrangements. So the question is what do you need to consider so that first aid needs are realistic and proportionate for the warehouse workers. And uh, it is clearly mentioned that uh, you should support your answer where applicable using information from scenario. You do not need to introduce uh, specific first aid equipment. So uh, we are not going to talk about equipment and first aid kits and all of those things but we will be only looking at uh, what are the important factors which will help you in considering what arrangement should be there for first aid. So guys uh, here are some of the factors uh, to consider when deciding on first aid arrangements and we all know that factors are uh, the points which will help you uh, in deciding what needed to be done in future to arrange adequate first aid for the organization. So looking at the first factor, we'll be looking at records of pre previous incidents, accidents in the warehouse area, which will give us a better idea uh, what's going on in the organization over past periods of time, what kind of injuries were there, what kind of first aids were required during those times and whether our arranged first aid is adequately covering all of those things or not. So uh, we all know that previously there are uh, many incidents related to forklifts and people where forklifts are colliding with people and uh, this information will give us an idea what kind of injuries, what kind of accidents are happening in the organization and accordingly we will be arranging first aid. Second factor is the size, area and spread of location. So looking at this scenario, uh, area is limited uh, to warehouse only and spread of location is not very big. So uh, we'll be looking at all of these things. For example, if you are talking about a bigger area, you need to provide more first aid kits, more first aid arrangements and uh, sufficiently uh, uh, resourced first aid. But in this case, uh, the area is not very big, the location is not very big. So we'll be covering uh, adequately uh, what are the requirements for the first aid. Another point uh, we can consider while deciding on first aid arrangements is types of risks and hazards in the warehouse. So we all know that uh, as per information provided in this scenario, uh, there are injuries related to first uh, forklift, there are chemicals used. Uh, and we can have any chemical spillage or chemical related accidents and all that. So uh, this factor is also very useful to be considered uh, so that we can adequately arrange our first aid. Guys, looking at some of the additional factors, uh, we came up with the uh, shift patterns, one of the factor and we all know that this information also is very helpful. We need to know how many shifts are going on, how many employees are there. Uh, whether there is a night shift or not. So in this case, currently there are two shifts working, 12 hours each each shift, four days on, four days off. And uh, for sure, this information will help us in deciding uh, some of the arrangement. Maybe there's an injury, maybe there's an incident at night time for the night shift also. So more arrangement can be required in those cases uh, till uh, the casualty can be taken to hospital and all that. So. This information is another useful uh, information. This factor should be considered also. Total number of workers in the warehouse is uh, another factor to be considered. And we all know that uh, there are 11 people at one time if we look at the shift arrangement. And uh, 
for sure this will help us also in making certain arrangements because if there are 10 people 11 people or if there are 100 people accordingly the first year requirement should be kept in mind and arranged accordingly another important factor is total distance from the warehouse to the main hospital uh, we all know that uh, whenever there are incidents whenever there are injuries you never know that first aid is enough or not maybe uh, a victim has to be taken to the hospital and in this case as per scenario the hospital is five miles away from the warehouse so if there if there is a serious injury at night time uh, what arrangement to be done maybe the organization need an ambulance and all that so these factors are also very important to take the casualty to the hospital uh, we need to think about it we must also know that how many vulnerable people we have in the organization because vulnerable people we all know we need to make special arrangement for them so as per scenario in this case uh, although we don't have any handicapped person with us but uh, young people are also considered as vulnerable people and uh, it is clearly defined that the forklift operator is a young guy who has lack of competence lack of experience lack of knowledge ability and training and keeping these factors in mind uh, it will give us an idea that what special arrangements are required for vulnerable people so we need to be looking at this factor also and the first aid kits quantity location is very important factor uh, how many first aid kits are required uh, what would be the quantity and what is the location of first aid kits where we are going to place first aid kits in the warehouse these factors should also be considered uh, although the area is not very big so we might not need a bigger quantity of first aid kits but quantity should be decided and the content also the the first aid kits will be carrying what kind of uh, first aid arrangements and uh, where they will be located so that they can be easily accessed anytime whenever required also we need to look at the competent persons uh, who will be providing first aid uh, in case of emergencies so currently the organization does not have even the health and safety representatives in the area so uh, this factor will give us an idea that how many workers we need to uh, train them in first aid as a competent person to provide first aid and uh, what level of first aid training they need and uh, their availability at site is quite important so this factor should be considered so friends i think we have sufficiently covered all of the factors needed to be considered while making first aid arrangement within the organization and uh, i just wanted to give you one key here whenever you get a question on factors to be considered this question can come in different areas uh, of your syllabus we need to be keeping one key in mind and uh, just keep M-E-E-P in your mind, MEEP. So MEEP stands for M for material, E for environment, E for equipment and P for people. So whenever you are considering something, whenever you are considering some of the factors, if you have these four major points in your mind, factors related to the people, factors related to the materials, environments, equipments, then for sure you will be getting many answers down there and you will be covering all of the factors to be considered while making certain arrangement. So guys, hope the information was useful and uh, we'll be meeting up in another video for question number seven. Question number seven, I have many queries. People, uh, uh, some of the people, they are still in ambiguities how to solve question number seven. I'll, it was a bit difficult and we needed to... Uh, access certain information provided by Nivosh which was HSG document. So we'll be discussing how to solve those questions where you have to refer to the external sources of information provided by Nivosh. So guys stay blessed, stay happy. We'll be meeting up in another video very soon. Thank you very much.